Was that Harrison Burton? 52, uh, Cody Van yeah, Wall, Harrison, Harrison Burton involved, Joe Graff Jr. Man, that was a big, big impact. I want to be on the bottom, as you see all yeah, the bigger on the outside. Up. He's trying to get to that 100,000. He knows he's That's probably right. not going to be able to win this. That outside's going to be broken up a little bit. Jeff's got to side draft. Both sides here. Yep. Yeah. Chastain lead right now for the dash for cash, but he's got all Menina right behind there. All three lined up on the outside. All three college cars lined up in the outside lane. Justin Haley taking the lead in the outside lane. The 11 on point. Side by side for second. That's Chastain and Burton. Here comes Almondinger. Back through the trioval. Can Haley control this thing? Yes, he can. First career victory in Talladega. It goes to Justin Haley. Here he is. And Almondinger gave Chastain a big push. He gave Haley a big push. Huge day for those guys again. Wow. You said it all day, Jamie. You said it all day how fast that 11 car was, and boy, was it. Those three Collie cars worked perfectly together at the end of that race. Chastain finishes second, and $100,000 he takes home today. Justin Haley going to victory lane. Good super speedway racer right there. It's rare that you win at Justin Burton at Auto Club Speedway. And there's good reason for teammates to celebrate. Work together in the draft. One gets the trophy. The other gets $100,000. And there's the Palma Digger. You don't think they're team players, do you? Look at that. That's so cool. Look at those guys. But think about the last few weeks for this organization. Almondinger wins at Atlanta. Last weekend, Almondinger wins the $100,000. And today, Justin Haley gets the victory at Talladega. What Colleg is doing lately is very, very impressive. Yeah, and they won the... Where we try for the second day to get 500 miles of racing in. Weather prevented that yesterday. King Richard Petty's here. And this was just recently painted in the trioval grass. All of NASCAR's drivers have rallied around Bubba Wallace. The NASCAR Cup Series lone black driver after what happened here yesterday afternoon. The drivers, led by reigning Cup Series champion Kyle Busch in green, and their crews, the entire garage area, has rallied around Bubba Wallace and the number 43 today. Because yesterday afternoon, a noose was found hanging in the garage stall of Bubba's race car. In the NASCAR Cup garage area, a secure area where access is limited to competitors, officials, and track staff. A despicable act by someone flying directly in the face of NASCAR's efforts to build a culture that is diverse, equal, and welcome. That's why Richard Petty is here today, and why Ryan Blaney, Bubba's friends, competitors, and on-track foes have closed ranks around him. When that window net goes up later today, racing is the great equalizer. Everybody's six foot four, 240 pounds. Everybody has 600 horsepower. No one is white, black, brown, or yellow. They are all racers. And they are all our heroes. Offering today's invocation, President and CEO of Motor Racing Outreach, Billy Malden. Let's pray. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, for our country and sport, help us to succeed in our efforts for change as we remain strong and committed. And Lord, may you guide us on the path towards unity and love. As we talk and work together for a better future for all, 
May we all be slow to wrath and quick to carefully listen. For our leaders, may together they seek wisdom and actions that will truly bring peace and hope to all. Be with our drivers, teams, officials, bless them with a safe day of racing. And as we stand together against racism, by your Holy Spirit, guide us to true liberty and justice for all. In your holy name I pray, amen. Watch this run that Ty Dillon might be able to give to Ryan Blaney to give him a big run. Nope, Ty goes underneath. Blaney pokes out. Stenhouse is with him. Harvick got away from Busher. Oh, but up front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's Rash ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse comes back to him on the bottom. Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Alvarola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. Oh, my goodness. They were, what, three, four wide? Slamming and banging. Almirola spun out, but he's in third position at the line. Great job there, Josh. Way to stay calm, collected. Scoring unofficial and under review. NASCAR, since that initial crash in the back straightaway. Jamie? And Bubba got out of his car, grabbed a drink of water, and he sees some supporters up here in the stands. Of course, we got 5,000 fans here today. Bubba, I don't know if you can hear me, but what a day. NASCAR rallies around you. You got fans in the stands. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. This is probably the most badass moment right here. It's been tough. It's been, it's been it's been hell. Really, I wouldn't say hell. It's just been hectic, you know, carrying his weight and carrying his burden. I wouldn't really say burden either. I'm proud to stand where I'm at and carry a new face. Look at this. First times right here from Atlanta. That is so cool. The sport is changing. Um, the deal that happened yesterday, sorry I'm not wearing my mask, but I wanted to show whoever it was that uh, you're not going to take away my smile, and uh, I'm going to keep on going. I, uh, I've been a part of this sport for a really long time, uh, still kind of a rookie, starting to figure this place stuff out. We had a good race going today in our victory junction Chevrolet, but um, man, I know I should have won that damn race. We ran out of gas. <laughs> um, just the stars didn't align for us completely, but... Uh, all in all, we won today. The the pre-race deal, the pre-race deal was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to witness in my life. From uh, all the supporters, from drivers, from crew members, uh, everybody here, uh, the badass fan base. Thank you guys for coming out here. This is uh, truly incredible, and I'm proud to be a part of this sport, Jamie. Um, like I said earlier, I got a long way to go, and uh, we'll keep on trucking. Another top 15 for us. We'll take it. And uh, we'll just go on to Pocono, right? Okay, Pocono. So, hey, I'm still smiling. Long week ahead of me, probably a couple weeks, probably a couple months. Courtney's going to lay some uh, interviews on me. So I'll be ready for Pocono, though. Thanks, Bubba. Well done.